Hey you guys, it's Gwen. I'm here to do a beautiful reading uh, for the 24th. So welcome if this is the first time you're joining me. If this is... I'm a nut. I'm Gwen. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found me. Uh, feeling good today. Yesterday I really felt energy, really strong um, energies, intense energies, just Ascension symptoms like in, you know, having difficulty breathing, really wanting to take deep breaths, breathing differently, feeling as though, you know, just different inside my body and exhilaration, uh, energy that wants to bust out, feeling like a sensation of coming out of the cocoon, a transformation happening within my body, you know, um, yeah, where it was, it's almost like spirits like you get, you have to rest. You cannot, you cannot continue to do, 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 be, and the silence is what is, you know, that's where we can connect with our intuition, mm -hmm. with our guides, right? With our own self, with our heartbeat, with our breath, you know, it's important right now as, uh, especially during this intense uh, eclipse season through the end of the year. All right. I got animals here today. Animals, animals, um, got my brand new necklace on right now. It's a butterfly calcite right here on the, and I macrame the, the choker necklace. If you haven't checked out my creativity, come to mystic Gwen on Facebook. Um, I'm doing all, I love macrame, but now I'm starting to do jewelry again because it used to be able to not do jewelry because my, my hands hurt so bad, but my hands are healing. And so I don't really feel the effects of arthritis anymore. Um, and so I'm able to make these beautiful necklaces. So come check them out if you're interested in one of them. They're very affordable. I use either wood or glass or crystal beads. I can customize one for you too. Um, I'm, right now I'm making anklets. Uh, bracelets and chokers and the charms are just adorable and they all come I mean it's a great gift I mean see I make bracelets like this too tiger's eye amethyst and then I've got this beautiful I just had to have this color I, it is a dyed quartz um, but yeah yeah I'm, I'm enjoying making jewelry right now and that butterfly that blue calcite the blue calcite is about um, it's a, it's a healing stone that soothes your emotional body, right? Also helps you tune into your intuition, into your heart. But to have the butterfly at the throat chakra, you know, and it, it, it for me, it's because sometimes, you know, I've bottled, I bottled up my anger for years. I just became silent, you know. And so now, like, when something does upset me or whatever, it, it comes out. But it sometimes can come out really... Um, like a blazing fire, you know, so like I'm tuning into this crystal, you know, I wear a medicine bag too, where I've, um, right now I'm working with the, uh, beautiful, um, out of this world crystal tectite, um, which is not from this planet. And, um, I have a beautiful piece of that around my neck. So a black stone, it's, it's, it's just beautiful grounding kind of stone, even though I say it's out of this world. It's kind of similar to Moldavite. So, and I know I'm not ready for Moldavite. See, you know, these crystals fall into your life, come into your life. Um, this crystal I gifted to a sister in the past and she lost it and it came back to me, you know? So, you know, and I plan on, because this is, this is what I do with my crystals. I gift them. I charge them with my energy and my love and then I gift them, Right. Uh, giving is receiving. So I have the perfect sister that I'm going to gift this one to um, because the butterfly, like it is part of my spirit, the gift of giving. And um, I'm very grateful. The turkey going to come out. Of course he is. We're so close to Thanksgiving, aren't we? Oh, it looked like the turkey is the vulture. Oh, maybe the turkey will come out. Turkey speaks to abundance mindset, by the way. There's a reason why I saw it as turkey, okay? Because I'm talking about giving and receiving. Vulture, nothing is wasted. Card 63, which is a nine, okay? Nines are about tying up loose ends, coming to the end of a cycle. Um, but yeah, the vultures, everything that you've been through um, has only made you wiser, has only made you more resilient, has only made you more compassionate, empathetic to other people's situations. Like, 
I felt a lot of times during my spiritual path, like I had, I had come to some agreement between my heart and my mind. It was like, because I just felt like the universe was setting me up. Like not in a good way, either. <laughs> like harshly teaching me some lessons, you know, and I had this mindset that I'm just constantly being punished in this life. And it was this, this out loud uh, victim mindset that would pour out of my mouth. And um, I've really turned a large boat around with that. And I'm headed in the right direction. Am I perfect? No. You know, this is reprogramming and fine tuning and pivoting in situations where I would normally just, you know, like, ugh. so nothing is wasted. You've learned so much. You're learning how to use your intuition. Right. And, you know, Vulture also speaks to the, so many. I adore this bird, by the way, this big bird. Most think they're very foul, but I adore them. They gift me their beautiful feathers. I clean their beautiful feathers and then I make smudge fans out of them and I call them the golden purifier. All right. Um, everything has a purpose. Every animal, you know, like this animal cleans up the, is by the dumpsters, cleaning up the trash, cleaning up, you know, the, the, he's the scavenger, right? So yeah, if you look in your past and you look at all of what you've been through, there are, there's so much lessons, so many valuable tools that you all have in your tool belt now, my darlings. So go, go, go through this next step process with that, right? <clears throat> Watch and wait. The seahorse, card 53, which is an eight. Now we've got eight, nine here progression. Okay. I just love, this is about flow, right? Because think about the seahorse. It's in this powerful ocean. It, it really, um, goes with the current a lot, right? But think of how the body had to be made. This beautiful, delicate creature the intricacies and how every you know the chemistry and the anatomy of how this creature was made to be able to float upright in that powerful ocean speaking to you are perfectly as imperfect as you think you are that's perfect your body is absolutely perfect too for your mission darlings you are perfect the seahorse says, watch and wait. Everything is happening in divine timing. Have faith. Trust yourself again. Okay. When you come out of the cave too, you got to adjust to the light a bit. I don't know why that just came out. My nose is itching. It's for somebody. Okay. Here comes the dolphin. Yes. Divine love is out play right now. Just watch and wait, darlings. It's coming. It's a little bit of this and a little bit of that is what the dolphin says though. Okay, it's a card about duality, card 20. Yes, and I'm going to read you the dolphin. Dolphin, when it comes out, like in one of my fairy decks or, you know, in the archangel deck that I have, it, it always, it's that and the swan, to me, are, um, these are soulmate connections. This is divine orchestration. This is divine love, right? Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, do, do. this and that are true. Dolphin spirit, like her earthly manifestations, is a reminder of duality. As the dolphin is both mammal and sea creature, so too is dolphin spirit both this and that. Two truths coexist. The story you tell, and another one as well. The duality of life is present when we are suffering, for there is a blessing too in the helpers that appear. Within clouds are silver linings. When we later reflect, oh, boy, don't the vulture and the dolphin work great together? What happened? We can see that the situation was both this and that, and a choice led to both joy and sorrow. No relationship is either all good or bad. And people have qualities of both light and shadow. Focus on the positive, for light exists alongside the darkness. Dolphin spirit calls for you to come up from below and enjoy a weightless moment in the sun as you dive in and out of this and then that. 
accepting and even enjoying the duality of life. Why not join Dolphin Spirit in acknowledging and affirming the blessings present in this moment? In all areas of your life, there are aspects of both this and that. Today, you can celebrate this fact and recognize the complexity and the beauty of the fabric of the universe. You are at a place right now where your past self is still present as you move towards the new self you are becoming. Aspects of both selves are present. So even if you want to say goodbye to what was, you are required to find solace in this between time. Today is not a day to choose one or one over another either, but rather to accept things as they are without judgment or resistance. Even in matters of the heart, duality is present. Your next action will be obvious when you drop your bias and see things as a whole. I love it. I can't wait to watch this reading back because the dolphin really speaks to me and this whole watching and waiting. Okay. You will know this exact time to jump out of the water. And this is so much playfulness too that I feel from that. What's the underlying energy? Squirrel, believe in yourself. So somebody's out there about to take a leap of faith because I see him as this, you know, he's that amazing acrobat up in the canopy, you know, so fearless and brave and bold taking these jumps. Okay. And he's, he's literally dancing on top of this acorn, you know, and remember the acorn, the acorn is the sign of luck and fertility and growth and strength because, you know, it starts as this little, um, you know, seed and grows into the mighty oak. Okay. So believe in yourself again. So let's clarify some with, with the angels today. Oh wait, liminal spirits. They want to come out. So we got three animal cards today. Nothing is wasted. Watch and wait. And this and that are true. This is that shadow kind of work we're doing, you know, and uh, we may have, when we go in deep and we realize, hey, maybe, you know, we're holding some resentment, resentment maybe to some of the choices that we've made in our life. And, you know, nah, you know, it is what it is. You know, it, it's this and that. These choices to let led you to joy and sorrow. It was both. Recognize both. Quit concentrating on all of the, you know, the dark. There are both aspects present in the situation, you know. Yeah, I feel that deeply. That's a deep one for my heart. Thank you, Spirit. I love you. Okay. What do the liminal spirits want to say today in conjunction with these animals? Thank you. Remember to uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Donate to the channel if you can. It helps us so much. It really does. It really helps this household. It's been helping so much. Yeah. Mm hmm I love you guys. I'm so grateful. So... And if you're looking for where to donate during, especially during, um, it's a slower part of the season for my, uh, partner who I'm living with. And, um, so every bit that I'm helping to helps to contribute to the household, taking care of our, um, animal and our child here. I'm just saying it like it is. Okay. I love you guys. I'm so grateful for you guys. What's the liminal spirit? Fiber. Ooh, I love it. Look at this goldenness. It's that golden fabric we're weaving, that golden. See? It's like we're threading a new, we're stitching a new pattern, okay? That's what I'm feeling with that. It's also about a coming together, I'm feeling with that. Mm -hmm. Fibers, you know, I, I love my textiles and my fibers. It's making me think of my macrame. You know, and when I really um, started getting into my macrame, I, to me, I didn't have a goal of what I was going to make. I just knew that I wanted to do something way different. And that meant not following any pattern because you can go to YouTube and learn how to macrame easy peasy lemon squeezy. You can do that with most things, you know, the information's at our fingertips, but I wanted to set a new trend. I wanted to weave a new pattern you know, and that's what I've been doing. I feel as though I'm creating structure and um, sculpture with yarn and sigils and, you, you know, and I'm painting with the yarn, really. So, yeah, it's it's about creating 
stitching together. I mean, these are green, green threads here through all of this heart healing. You're putting the pieces together. You're stitching and creating a new warm, cozy. I feel such warmth from that card. Okay. Um, new uh, safe place too in your heart because of those green stitches that are there. But I'm going to read you a uh, fiber. It really doesn't come out a lot. And I'm sure there's other messages. But the I, you know, I tuned in with what my heart was saying too there for you guys. Love fiber. Now, where are you in the book? Because I don't know. Okay, metal, bones, there's fiber. With the harnessing of fiber, we have brought forth cloth, again, changing how we evolved as a civilization. The fiber we make our threads from can be plant or animal in nature, cotton, hemp, bamboo, flax, wool, silk, etc. Our understanding of fiber led the way to the creation of many arts we still practice today, including weaving, spinning, and basketry. It takes great skill to produce threads that are consistent and useful, which may explain the association of good, dependable people being of solid moral fiber. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> we also connect fiber with the fates, the, the mythic weavers who form, measure, and cut the threads of our lives. Recognize the threads that connect you to the people around you. Together, you create a pattern that is evidence of a sacred bond. Ooh, I got chills. Well, you just know. You just know when it's your soul drive. You just know. If there is any doubt in your mind, it's not. You just know. You feel supported, loved, no matter what you're going through, you just know. So if there's any doubt, that, okay, and it's, that's how manifesting works too. You, you just know it's coming. There can't be any doubt. Okay. So the people, I've been saying this for months all year, actually, the people around you this year are, you know, whether they're providing contrast, that's triggers for your healing, or, you know, these are all beautiful mirrors, or a beautiful, warm, you know, kindred spirit that fall, falls into your life unexpectedly. You know, these are soulmate connections. These are soul kin connections that, you know, are, are that you're figuring it out, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> I love saying I know. <laughs> the name of the game here is patience and fortitude. If you rush or make haste, you'll be greatly disappointed by the outcome. Watch and wait. Think of the ocean, that force of the ocean, right? Powerful and beautiful. You know, and that's that force behind this creation, behind your manifestations. The universe supports you, darling, okay? and loves you. We tend to think of fate as something we are subject to, <laughs> but we have a, a say over how we weave our patterns. So take control of your own thread. You know, like that's that whole saying that I was talking about in the beginning about feeling like the universe set me up, you know, and feeling punished in a victim mindset and all of that. No, you have, you are weaving your own pattern here. You're creating your own pattern. You're weaving your own. Take control of the thread. Ooh, my shoulder just cracked with that. Ooh, I'm getting chills with this shit today. This is good shit. I love it. <laughs> so, thank you, animals. Thank you, liminal spirits. Let's see what the clarifying cards are. for. Well, tell me more about Vulture. Nothing is wasted. What is that referring to, spirit? Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted for the collective today. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. Three of Cups. Three of Cups is that oh, celebration card. Your ship's coming in. It's coming. Look at your ship's coming in. Lots of feminine energy there. Watery energy with that mermaid. Mm-hmm. Those mermaids there. Yeah. Uh, reasons to celebrate a community of friends. Happy announcements regarding relationships or your children. Yes. The ship's coming in card. I love that. Green heart healing from Raphael there. Okay. I love it. Watch and wait. What's the seahorse about? About your ship's coming in. Just watch and wait. Open wider to receiving. The, the love and blessings are all around you, my dears. Be grateful. Okay. 
the King of Wands. Wow, has he been out all year? I'll say all year, too. I feel like he has been in my readings a lot, especially lately. King of Wands energy in the upright. Okay, generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. This fire sign as we're going into Sagittarius season here. I love that shit, right? This Sag, um, uh, Leo, Aries, okay? Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. Okay. This is a very driven king, okay? And he's an entrepreneur, but he, and he knows exactly, like, this card saying, watch and wait, you know? And leave all the little... Uh, it's like let, letting everybody else figure out their own dramas. And you've got this big picture, this big dream in mind. And you know it's going to manifest. And, you, you know, you ordered your fucking big old cheesy pepperoni pizza and it's coming. You know? And, he, and he's confident in that. I mean, that's very attractive. Gotta say. Woo! Yeah, some fire energy coming up in here. Yep. All right. This and that are true. What is the dolphin talking about? Let's clarify. This and that are true. This and that. This and that. Oh, one fell out the back. Yeah, we're going to take that one. Oh, the lovers. If this is in regards to relationships and what they've been teaching you this past year. The lovers. I wanted to flip it upside down. Also speaks to the sign of Gemini coming out strong in this reading with the lovers. Okay, so make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. All right. I'm very grateful. Um, I've come to that acceptance, which took me a long time because I had a lot of bitterness in me towards the relationships, the long ones that I've had in my life with men who didn't work out. And I'm rarely like, if it's over, it's over. and I'm not your friend. It's, it's cut like that, you know? And I really, you know, I had the partners in the past. It, it, it some of them I could have been friends with, you know, um, just a difference in how I wanted to live my life. You know, I, I, I changed. So, yeah, they got me going, see, spirits got me, like, my brain is going way back when, like, every little relationship has taught me something about myself, and I repeated a lot of same patterns, even if it was a different person, it's still, like, I would pick somebody completely different from the, the last one, and then the same patterns would continue to happen, because I hadn't healed any part of myself. I've learned that, you know, like the, it, the relationship with self is most important. We got to heal what's wrong in our heart before we can ever, you know, like truly be able to unconditionally love somebody else as well. But I, tr those, those people in my life who has triggered me, those fierce mirrors, so much fucking respect, no matter what has happened. Like I am at that acceptance. Like, yeah, I, I do believe that it had to be you because that's because I wouldn't have healed otherwise because you had to treat me this way because it, this had, you know, like it's all click, 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 click the light bulbs. And it's just, yeah. And so now I see that pattern. So now I'm going to weave it different, you know? And like, I, I was looking at my, before I hit record on this reading today, I thought, you know, cause I always, this is what women do. We just look at ourselves. How do I look before I hit record? You know, and I'm like, cool. I'm, I'm looking beautiful today. I really love how this butterfly is sitting on my neck. You know, I like the purple I'm in. I made effort today to, you know, to like look pretty. I got my jewelry on and I'm proud of me for doing that. And I looked down like this and I was like, my hair, okay, has always for most of my life just parted down the center this straight line down the center. And now like when I, cause I rarely do much with my hair. I just wash and go, you know, and it's zigzag pattern today. It's just like that reminding me, you know, weave a, I, I don't know, like the crooked path is a little bit more fun <laughs> and adventurous. And I feel like that's a big thing for today too. Like a big energy. Remember to be fun and playful, you know? Yeah. 
add that into your Thanksgiving festivities right? The inner child wants to play. It's not just about slaving away in the kitchen and cooking this big, huge meal that's going to be eaten in five to ten minutes. It's about enjoying the people that were around. Yeah. Even in the duality of it. Yeah. Right? So, I love you guys. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Take care of you. Oh, by the way, today's number frequency of six. And here's the six. So you can see that couple there. Got to say the two that this is a this is a connection that is a soulmate connection that I'm speaking about. It is also I don't know if it, if you don't have a love in your life, then it just is coming together of your masculine, feminine, some balancing that's happening to your emotional body. Blue, her dress is blue, you know, it's blue, it's emotional healing. And it's like the feminine looking at the masculine, like I can trust my masculine again. Love you.